Now what we want to do is uh, uh, make some more complex commands that do things that are like more towards what we want for our autonomous program. Um, so we're going to make a bunch of those. The first one we'll make uh, is one that prepares to pick up a cylindrical object. So to do that, we equate what's called a command group, which is just a group of commands that execute more or less sequentially. So we'll do that one. Then we'll make another command group called pickup, which will pick up the uh, cylindrical object. And another one called place, which will put it on the platform. And then a third one called deliver, or fourth one called deliver cylinder, which will do all of those three together, one after another. Uh, and, and that would be our basically our autonomous program for our robot. So uh, that's all there. So we just generate some Java code, and now we can go fill in those uh, commands, those command groups. So if we go to uh, NetBeans, we can see uh, the first one I guess we want to do is prepare to pick up. Okay, and again, um, as you can see there's the command group. This is a lot simpler than a command. It doesn't have uh, the is finished and execute and initialize and end and all that stuff because it's really just doing these things sequentially one after another. So all we do is we, we uh, create instances of the commands and we, we um, schedule those. So for preparing to pick up, the first thing that we want to do is uh, open the claw, or uh, open the claw, that's to prepare to pick up the soda can, and then, and then we want to be able to uh, lower, the, lower the elevator. So this is starting with the elevator in the upper position, so we open the claw, lower the elevator. Now these things are added uh, in parallel to this command group, which means that they're going to run at the same time. So it's going to schedule the open claw command to get the claw going. Then at the same time while that's happening, it's going to immediately schedule the lower elevator command, and then it's going to immediately schedule the lower wrist command. So all three of those things will be happening simultaneously um, because they're all done with add parallel. Okay, the next one we want to do is pick up. Okay, so this one uh, has to pick up the um, cylindrical object, which means it's got a it has to uh, close the gripper, and then uh, move the wrist back, and then raise the elevator. So in this case, um, oh. what we need to do here is um, Why did you do that? we need. In this case, what we need to do is um, uh, first close the claw, and we have to do that sequentially. So we can't go on and do the next thing until the claw is closed, because otherwise, what will happen is that we'll be in the process of closing the claw. Other stuff will start moving, and it will drop the object. And then in parallel, we can raise the elevator and raise the wrist. Um, because once we've secured the cylindrical object, then everything else can happen at the same time. So that's the pickup command. And then the next command is the place command. And this is, you can imagine what's happening here. This is, this is where it's going to put the cylindrical object onto the uh, box. So it's got a raise the elevator to the upper position, and it does that sequentially, so it does that before it does anything else. Um, then it has to lower the wrist to get the thing down, so it just lowers the thing right onto the, uh, onto the, onto the platform. And then we just want to open the claw. And then we can open the claw, which releases the cylindrical object, our, our grip on the cylindrical object. And that's place. So, so you'll notice that we're um, that these command groups are just running one of those simpler commands after another. Um, and now what we want to do is make another command group, this or we want to do this last command group, which is deliver cylinder. And this actually does all of that stuff together. And so you can see that you can kind of arbitrarily nest commands and command groups so you can build up and make more and more complicated uh, commands. And the really nice thing about this is that once you know that a command is working, then putting it into a command group is a pretty safe operation because all the commands are operating independently of each other, and so you don't have to worry about uh, one piece of code stepping on another piece of code or anything like that. Now, so to do the uh, whole thing, we do the prepare to pick up, then we pick up, and now what normally would happen, this is where we want to drive um, to the raised platform, but we don't have any code yet to do the drive train. We'll add that a little bit later. Um, and then, so we'll, so we'll put a comment there to remind us to put that in. Then we'll place the cylindrical object and then we'll back away from the, um, from the platform. And then we're pretty much done. Well, then we can raise the... Oh, then we can, yes, that's true. And then we can uh, raise the wrist. And these things all happen sequentially, right, one after another, because we don't want 
uh, these things to be happening at the same time. Oh, and then we'll, yeah, we're going to close the claw here at the very, very end. So that's the last thing is to raise the wrist and close the claw. So we now have all these, we have this last command, the liver cylinder, which really does everything. So let's give this a try. We'll download the code. We'll compile it, download the code into the robot. Um, it's, it's building it now, and then it's going to reboot, and then we can test it. And just like before, uh, when the program is finished loading, which, which takes um, about 30 seconds, then the commands will show up in the uh, Smart Dashboard, and we can try them one at a time. And it's really good to test them one at a time before doing the whole thing. So you just make sure that each thing works. So if for some reason the robot doesn't do what you expected, um, you'll know which command it was that broke it. So we're still waiting for the robot to finish rebooting um, and, and start up all of the VxWorks stuff. It's almost there. We have, the communications is there now, and now we're, we have robot code, and you can see that our new commands just showed up on the Smart Dashboard with some buttons to activate them. So we want to try them one at a time here. Well, let's turn the camera first. Let's turn the camera so our uh, home audience can see uh, what we're seeing. And what do you want to test first? All right, let's prepare to pick up. Okay, so let's prepare to pick. Go ahead. Do prepare to pick up. Okay. Okay. And now what? Let's pick up. Okay, now the robot would be driving forward to the to the platform. Then we place, and then the robot would back away from the platform. All right, so the three command groups work. So let's see if they work together and they deliver cylinder command. Okay, so let's do the whole thing here. Okay, uh, I'll just put this here. See if this is about the right place. Ready to go? Yes. Yeah. So this is doing all of those operations together right. that we just programmed. We're driving forward. So this is doing all the operations together that we just did. And we back away and we're done. So that's the whole autonomous thing, which we can activate with a single button. 